isolation has you feeling blue There's only one thing left to do The patch is out, let's play CO2 It's the Corona Cup And here we are The scores, of course, are reset Because this is a new match This is the grand final of the Corona Cup Both players have made it this far, and now they're in a best of five for the first time this weekend. Nagano from the north side as this new faction in the game? What is this? Could it be? They've got shiny balls on their heads that they call helmets. It is indeed the Brits. And up against them in the south of Amelie Fields, made by Wufya from the community, will be the first Asia Mint. And he's won a 1v1 tournament fresh off the press against Kimbo in recent months. Can he win another tournament? He's got through to the grand finals. Very late in career where he is, but stamina, he's got it in abundance, it seems. Let's see what he can yeah. do here in the grand final of the Corona Cup. There's those new cutoffs, by the way. They've been sli made slightly less oppressive by Wolf. Guess when, Ed? Yesterday, after feedback with Loveness, and he asked all the players, do you want to play on the new version? Or do you want me to keep it the same? And they all said, can we have the new version? So Wuffy's made oh, a cutoff change to make it slightly less crazy. So this map should, uh, the game should be a bit longer than they were yesterday, basically. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me a bit of that Bayou map, but less 5,000 hedges blocking everything. So <laughs> it looks, it's, it's a nice mix between Fame and Villa Pro Chess, Fiel and uh, Bayou. Nice. Looks good um, on, uh, on first look, but also I don't think we saw it yesterday. Else I would have, I think I would have noticed. God knows, actually, with me. But, uh, yeah, we didn't get to see a game on it yesterday, Matt. Enemy causing trouble. Try yeah, no, that's right. That's Fields, right. Uh, cast mm. of the weekend. Mm. And what better we time would have to seen, we would have seen. Now. We would have seen a game on it in the semi-finals, but as... Um, you know, as it won the poll to become the grand finals map, we swapped it with Molenweg. Mm. So that's why we didn't get a chance to see this one before now. That's the one, yep. Good stuff. And here, somebody did ask uh, in the chat before, why didn't uh, Kimbo build a UC? Well, Nico was probably thinking the same thing, and he's definitely locked one in. So only three infantry sections. Well, say only. <laughs> Still quite a lot. But straight into a UC. So will he have the control of the Kobol gamer, Brit Main? We'll see. Every uh, folks around here has got a mission right now. This central one's going to go and poke around. The other two are laying sandbags. Meanwhile, the Tommies are in action now behind this green cover tractor, of course. And uh, the Fitzgerald has always drop, already drop a Soldatin against them. Yep. Steindeen chat. Timing is perfection to come back just for the grand final game one. Welcome back. Welcome, sir. And uh, here we go. On the eastern flank. All quiet until now. Open up. False one it is. Chip a lot of damage off those infantry sections. I think they need another buff map. Not, not <laughs> powerful enough. Give them lasers. <laughs> and the universal carrier, meanwhile, upgrades with the old Vickers K. God knows what happened to the 13 ever variants before or whatever. And um, just, went in just order. <laughs> minor correction for those in chat, it is indeed a best of um, five, so my UI will get updated after this game. I know it'll tweak you, but you're going to have to deal with it, baby. Indeed, just like this plays, we'll have to deal with extreme combat fatigue here in a 1v1. It's like chess on roids, this game, isn't it? It's so fast, you have to constantly keep thinking of your next opponent's next move as well as what you want to do. And it is mm. very stressful one. But. I like the chess on roids analogy, Ed, but I'm going to raise you. I'm going to say chess on roids within Te Takeshi's castle. It's got everything. It's got RNG. It's got bullshit. And you it's got a like... bit of snakes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> yeah, it's it's just the epitome of uh, what, what males normally suck at is multitasking. So this game is very good tested that <laughs> we were on about this earlier it's not the typical male that wins this this in these big tournaments you need to be a bit more relaxed a little bit better of a lateral thinker not just a lineal thinker mm. and um that's why talisman loveness nagano devm they're all maximum chill dudes that are still very competitive because they can yeah of course and i like this hashtag adapt as well cool calm collected as asian men and uh he's gone for overwatch doctrine aid sorry to interject but he's also bringing out the big bopper. 
flak half tap, which will oh. be the first time we see it in this uh, in today in these uh, semi-finals. Dangerous D cap from the Stern Pioneers. The Bren carrier with quite ironically a Vickers gun is gunning them down. Some sandbags will save their lives though. And uh, no negative cover on that nope. road. So no negative cover anywhere. Jabated. Yeah. Just you hang your cursor over it, you do not get the red cover, so I think that kept those old uh, stern pioneers alive there. Well, like a very bit of negative cover. Yeah, like a little bit yeah. of negative cover, used sparingly, like on K-Pen's map, Bocage, it's got the, just on the water. Yeah. You know, I think yeah, that's yeah. quite tasteful, tasteful. But it's interesting just to see, like, you can get a road red mechanic, so... Interesting. I learned something today, at least. <laughs> 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 Educational stream. Just like these folks around here are learning to walk away and uh, not look the UC in the eye because it, it carries the universe on its shoulders. But there's another thing that's carrying something rather large and it is indeed this uh, Sondercroft Vard Soig 251-17. I won't try German numbers, that's as far as I go. I'm getting off at this train station. <laughs> <laughs> but no Rakedon to back it up so it's going to be that uh, squeaky bum time as the old Man United. So Alex. Alex oh, yeah. Ferguson coined, and uh, this is a very low HP squad of Nico. Two squads and a flak half track to contend with on the troop path. Will they skip away? Oh, very slow rate of fire. Flak half track. Are. And they get home. There's, uh, there's one medic section right now in this garrison. This other one's going to have to upgrade or wait for another to get there. AECs have been requisitioned, just need to be built now. Tommy's on a difficult stretch in the east. Does Nagano see it? Is he having a brain FK moment? It would certainly see so. He's dropped a bit <laughs> of health. You know, he gets out there way faster than anybody, any of us would have. I know. Just We were talking about the multitasking earlier. How they can just always remember about their squads on the periphery. It's not Normally, you know what your infantry are doing up the Enemy middle of the map. But when you, when you leave a squad in green cover on the uh, extremities of the map, east or west, it's like, yeah, they'll be fine, and he just completely forget about them. Mm. Hence the term brain FK when you when your head just does a little wander and you forget about it. But uh, these players, I think they they're just masters of watching shields at the top. So even if uh, they're not looking at the squad, they're still keeping a mental note. When they see the numbers drop on the squad models, they mash that retreat button quickly. And even such things as the tactical map. For judging when things are dying. Not used by AE since 2012, <laughs> hence his terrible rankings in auto match. Yeah, I, I always see it as a big silverback, you know, beta male kind of thing. I'm like, why are you using tag map? <laughs> ah. <It's> weak. <laughs> <laughs> Use. <laughs> and it's, it almost feels like advantage, doesn't it? Like, uh, that your opponent, if they're using it, that they have. But it's just but personal preference, really. Helping hands. It is, yeah. Uh, doesn't yeah. use it. Dev M, Kimbo don't use it. Yep. Love Nest does. Um, Von Ivan does. There's equal measure within the community. Tommy's advanced, though. We know that for certain. And they advance into that flak half truck. And the one model that isn't suppressed, like, get the F out of the way. Yeah, and, and all those uh, sections have got healing upgrade. Not one with pyrotechnic. So, really wants that preservation and uh, just basically the ability to stick in and stay around on the map um, for Nico there. Good choice, I would say. Here it is, the uh, AEC making its way towards a flak half track near you this spring. Five man Raketten squad, it's just going to be super glued to the back of that half track. It's going to protect them every step of the way. And a uh, nice soft retreat here from uh, Asian. Just getting back behind the track to the green cover. Can't play. It doesn't look like uh, the old 3 a.m. It's kicking in too much with his fatigue, but here comes an AEC to test his reactions. Oh yes, and he gets Stay past strong. the first Raketon shot. It's going to need to get one in of its own, however it misses. And here comes the Faust of the folks going to that could... He gets out of there, but the Raketon Verfer gets another shot. Let's look at that cone of fire. There's a green cover, brick wall in the way. Does he attack oh. out? No, he doesn't. I think he could have just sat down on his shots there with Black Half Track. And potentially uh, baited the AC into its death if he moved his, if he turned his Rakedon around in time. But yeah, good reaction test there from uh, Nico. First game of slabs, and uh, both of them get away with their light vehicles. So. There we 
we are. And uh, Asian Mint was doing an excellent job of containing Nagano in that early game. But Nagano has branched out and he now has double fuel. So both players have had double fuel for a, a small amount of this first 10 minute early game period. Yeah, but it end up on the old fuelage. But uh, it's it's munis that count, mate. I hate fuel. <laughs> Just get munis and you'd be all right. Yeah, it's not, you know, <laughs> both have their merits. Both have their merits. And they... I, uh, I don't know why I uh, favor so it's because you never get fuel even if you try, so you're always like, <laughs> yeah, just needing, much needing bazookas on your rear echelons. I was like, well, something that maybe my opponent doesn't care about. <laughs> <laughs> That's why right, when he became the mine master. <laughs> I've like got all villain. the VPs in the world. No result. <laughs> Fed one now on the G43 token. JLI squad. They are very potent with um, that sniping ability of low HP models. Back goes Nico's squad from the mid VP. Now the mid VP, Matt, is this the one that you were talking about? The cap zone looks like it's just down the can of Slim Fast. It looks very small. <laughs> it does, but and it looks like actually, it's come out of the ground, uh, like erupted out of there. <laughs> is that smaller than normal, or am I going mad? Yeah, they they draw the they draw the circles. It is uh, ah, okay. vaguely so smaller. So you can. Than normal. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Ozzy Legath asking, will the map get added to auto match? Let's hope so. I want all uh, the maps in auto match. So we we could do with getting rid of some of the others. Cough, lost guy. <coughs> what, you don't want to play Angoville again? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless it gets completely changed. You didn't changed. like it in 2013? <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got the advance of the Tommies backed up by an AEC. They're looking for that. Flak half track, but there's something that's upgrading. They're writing out those forms. They're sending them off to head office. They have Panzer authorization very soon. The purchase order's been required. And here it is. The cannon has upgraded. Oh, a bit of miss, Michael, there from Asian Mint. From his uh, raquette and couldn't get a first shot off, which could have been enough to kill the AEC. It limps away. Ooh, just. But Asian Mint has used this time to go cap the map on Eastern Front. Vet 3. Uh, Vickers K Universal oh. Carrier, when the hell did that happen? That kind of crept up on us. He's got 11 kills somehow, Ed. We haven't mentioned it. We are three. bad like, at casting. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> and uh, I do like um, do like this build though for Asian Man. He will get a rather quick uh, P4. It's less fuel for the half track now. Did get a buff a couple of patches back. It's only 50 fuel. And with a Raketan, he's managed to screen well. Oh. oh, Quinton Valentine. Yes, oh, indeed. Oh, the old Valentine back. He's oh, well. going to turn you into a reservoir dog. Or turn yeah, your uh, goes... units into pulp. There <laughs> goes the manly light vehicle battle. <laughs> there, we've now got the call in tank. As ever, the meta. No they honor. get nerfed no once honor. a patch. <laughs> and the only remaining one is now meta. There we go. The Valentine. You can only get one of them, though, Ed. So it's it's, yeah. it's completely yeah, you balanced. Can't get sure. The old Barton-esque four Valentines, <laughs> waffle stomping your cutoff. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's deal it's dealable, but you don't have to tech for it. That's the craziest thing. Very strong. Second Raketan Verfa out. Hopefully, verfing some Raketans near you very soon. The, yeah, uh, with the double rack and a, a flak half track to suppress some infantry. He's got a, he's got an okay base to go from here. He does need to secure up his VP though. Bleeding very fast. 150 yeah, almost down. the difference. Oh, 100 odd. Yeah. You don't really want to fall too far behind because then you start chasing and, and when players are chasing a game, mistakes often ensue. They do indeed, and the KD shows that Nagano is uh, has got a hefty lead. But um, on the army value graph, it's uh, neck and neck. Let's go back to the action. AT gun in the build Valentine's in danger. Oh, yep. Valentine's. One, there he is. One hit away. It's going to It's gonna not going to find the range. From that cone, yep. Flak off track on its path to being an absolute death star of a vehicle when it hits Vet 5. Oh, my God. You don't want to be near that thing. It's super damage. But this is suppression work it gives you, even in green cover. Very well done, but Royal Engineers is battling it out against the Stampires. Not in a fair battle though, they got the Vet 3 UC and the AC which has been inter intercepted by your man, Asia Mince with that ex excellent Faust. And, and another slower Earth. Faust is going to hit, just <laughs> needs a bit more damage. Oh, takes out the Royal Engineer. 
Does he get it? He won't be he got it no more for the mind quiet. Yep. Oh, flat calf chat taking a hit. What is this AEC? It's just like a. It's taken refuge on top won't go home. of the Raketenwerfer sitting on your lap. <laughs> Please go away. Finally dies thanks to the Faust. Nade comes in, does nothing. And the flak off track lives to survive another day. That's a loss for Nagano all around. He lost the Royal Engineer and his armoured car. Very awkward death there from the AC that I thought it was going to snipe Jack at that point. But good win Showed for good game Asian knowledge, win. though, you know. Showed good game knowledge. He sat on the support weapon. I didn't know that was a thing, and now I do. So there we go. Yep, yep. Block and everything. And then uh, we've seen a cheeky mine as well on the left flank if uh, Nagano goes for a base push just to wipe the squad. Good presence of mind there from Asian men on the left flank. Doesn't have a mine on the right flank, but uh, such as how the map is set out, I think the left is going to be more of this scarier route as the Schwer oh. opens up. That is a Do you like flak? Well, I've got a flak attack because there was two of them. Yeah. And there's the Very forward Schwer, I'd say. It's outside oh. the base. What is it doing? <laughs> I was going to say, you oh, had a poker that face one. on that one. <laughs> I was like... It's ballsy. I like it. Valentine admits absolutely yep. everything, and the JLI about to cry as in the centre the Flax push in, and the Verfa of Rockets makes light use of that tractor. And, uh, Oof. Good hit there from the AT gun for Nico. Slapping that uh, Flax after back into place. Double Rocket, though, it's got to be careful with all this vehicle, it's very susceptible. Just one snare and Double Raquette will soon make mincemeat of those light to medium vehicles. Royal Engineers rebuilding. He wants those uh, fixy fixies, as a certain Ed would sometimes say. And yeah, um, the Valentine. The situation. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the Valentine. all your words. Just yell anything. What a strange looking tank the Valentine is. I've watched that. You know the guy with the mustache that says, Terrible tank! Really, really bad! I think he did one of those, the Tank Diary on the, the Tank jingles, Museum's channel. Or... No, he's um, like this old geezer. He's like a sir. He's a knight of tank history or something. Ah, Fletcher. Go. I swear his name's Fletcher. Somebody will help, help me out in chat. Pompey yeah, will know what I'm on about. But uh, yeah, it is a bit of a... Well, it's are there any crap, sexy basically. British tanks? No. We David Fletcher Matilda, says We have the Matilda, the Valentine, like, and then a load of US Lenly. That Cromwell. Matilda too, though. Oh my God, you can't pen it for crap. It was as good, had as good of an armor as a tiger. It's a Valentine's forced away. Getting for for gains, veterans he won. Meanwhile, in the east, we got a flak attack on the Tommy's back. They're gonna have to return to base. Yep, and uh, it now targets and tracks, uh, tracks targets more efficiently at Vet too. So. Nice little buff there. That's one of the greatest things about uh, Company Fears. And a big change from Co. 1 is how the veteran suit works. Cheeky Nate, though, on the middle VP. He, survived. he runs towards it to negate nice. the damage. That was a nice little micro there. And due to the tiny VP, you're going to get such clumped squads there. So, oof, very cheeky there from Nagano. Trying to t capitalize on that. Another mine goes off. I tell you what, Nagano's mineage has been fantastic. Yeah. As Brits as well, which you don't really see it as much now. Expected with Soviets and their cheap mine bulletin, but yeah, he's been very, uh, very f frugal with his mines. I just, have sh I just have chills got my spine because we're watching a true, high level, high stakes coming in here as battle. This is oh, out of control. In many ways, more than one, but especially for the Valentine as it goes over the tracks and it's not coming back. Ta <laughs> Bye bye, Valentine. Ugliest tank in the game, confirmed. <laughs> Cheeky mine there from Asia Mid. What I've realized over the course of games, he loves to put away his minesweeper a lot with his reapers, so... Yeah, his controls may run fantastic. into a bit of, bit of a problem there, though. No, I, I don't know. I would Here rather default run around with the sweeper and then put it away if there's a fight. Rather than what he's going for is the old... Believe in no mines and... I don't know. Panzer Force we'll on the field now. It's a good piece of tech from Asia Mints. He's also got... Oh, this is hype, chat. That goes straight to Control Group 1. We're going to keep an eye on this little Pellerellogram of fun, if I can say it properly. It is indeed the Goliath. 100 munis of OKW Pride. A Skippy FX special. You could wipe <laughs> 900 squads on retreat. If only Nagano would play some 4v4s. 
we'll see. We'll see how potent it can be. There's definitely a lot of cover it can hide in, Matt. And when it's hiding, the engine noise cuts off, so it can be very sneaky. And the great thing is right now, all oh, the Tommies are going to see it if he's not careful. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, they this is my level Reverse of Reverse way, get repaired, get repaired, get repaired, please get repaired. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets a wipe Meanwhile, by the, the way, he got a wipe people. in the base, indeed, through the base channel. We've got Tommy's cowering, as yep. you would expect. The Cromwell's in the build, but that's not going to be enough to push away the Panzerfall before it does even more damage. See, this the Goliath debated the casters, debated Nico as well. He was looking at, he's fearing that, and then gets wiped somewhere else on the field. Job, job done for the Goliath. So base artillery, McKetton's fleeing, taking no chances there. Oof, folks very lucky to make it home through that air burst. Yeah, we've got engagements all over the mid and east of the spanking new map. Oh, P4 couldn't connect on the Royal Engineers. Tough well, I'll tell you there. what, retreat path for these Royal Engineers is going to be very tricky indeed, because here he is. <laughs> 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 Look at the legs! <laughs> Ooh, there it is! Good night, Vienna, for those and boys. And the oh, Valentine gets a kill on the retreating folks grenadiers, so we're going tit for tat yeah. on um, From Amelie well, Field. Master Race. Look at him. This is one of the, used to be one of those in the old uh, Imperial War Museum here in London. Took out a Yag Tiger. In World War Two. Nice. Just Cromwell's advancing. What they didn't tell you is uh, they built like nine of them to take on one. <laughs> Kettenwerf is get it in the rear. Push it away. Meanwhile, in the centre, Panzer IV and MG34 are trying to contain the Tommies. This battle is truly boiling over. It's all over the bloody place. Yeah, it's going to be hard to keep up. Oh. We're going to have to have Micro just to, <laughs> just to keep up watching it. Um, Cromwell on one HP. Meanwhile, getting the hell out of there. But P4 in pursuit. Stampos now with sweeper in tow. He's heard me, Asian man. He's adapting. And the flak half check's still alive. Holding up the western front. Pushing in as well. I mean, it's gotten a tasty 12 kills, Ed. It's two and a half pips of yeah. veterancy along and its merry journey. And a silent little killer is the, the veterancy creep on those Vaketans. Two Vet 2 Vaketans, Matt. Oh, they are going to get ugly raid of fire soon. Look at Asia Mint's controller. Just go to tack map for a second and just look at that. That's wonderful. He's capping multiple territory sets with multiple units. And uh, I know that's expected, yeah. but not when you've been playing so hard as he has today. Two and a half games against Lovenest, the reigning world champion. Good degree of sportsmanship as well, offering a replay in a very uh, tense situation where Lovenest yeah. got an AT gun bug. And uh, here he is. He's up, absolutely up manhandling Nagano right now. So uh, credit to him. I but think uh, uh, is far from out. The the advantage you mentioned there, Matt, with the um tack map. Do you think that just saves his his APM, keeps him cool? Because it is just so few clicks, and your squads actually go and cap the points where you where yeah, you pick them. Those things, as I when say. you do it on the mini map, you get the whole um helping hands cap scenario where your squads could just <laughs> teeter on the edge where they mm. where they think the the capping circle is fire and won't go near it. I think uh, I think maybe that's a bit of a. He's so efficient with his stack map usage, it saves him a lot of APM. I feel. Oh, oh, <laughs> folks, he has just fausted shoes. their own sandbags. Indeed, <laughs> they fausted the sandbags. There you go. And that wasn't a bug, by the way. They didn't fire the ground. They just fausted the sandbags. Fantastic. <laughs> Denying cover. God, I love that. I fausted a lot of buildings in my time. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a euphemism, Ed? Is that about your, your, <laughs> your nightlife there? <laughs> Fausted <of> the... <laughs> Rickett and Verfa hits the definitely a Cromwell. <laughs> no, but I'll, I'll take it. It's a good euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. This is the first compliment I've gotten off you all weekend. Thank you. I'm choked up. I'm choked up. We've yeah, got I'm the... Not, um... I must be flagging. <laughs> My guard's down. Hey, he's coming in. There's going to be another jingle. <laughs> but a third time. We could see the KT Master hype. KT. KT. King Feel like Tiger. We should... Do you remember Abe's Exodus for the PlayStation 1? Where you go, wong, 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 Is that with a, with a monkey or something? What? I, 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 I'm sorry, um, a monkey? You see he's going down. Rakan and Verf are looking for Max Ranger. <laughs> he can't get it off, however. I love how everything dies for Brits, except the UC, the unkillable oh, Brits. Oh, sick! Machine. 
Spounders can't quite get the penetrations they desire. If that other one had penetrated, that would have been a white. But the Cromwell wants it, Ed. The Cromwell's going in. He goes past one Raketenwerfer. However, the Fausts are challenging him. Yeah, Raketen standing on top of a mine as well. Not well suited for this. I think he just needs to pull back, reset, and try again. He's got artillery cooled down, meanwhile, on the MG in the middle. Oh! Oh, my lord! Absolute humdinger. One shot, one kill. Bye-bye, MG34. He could even crew that after the, the strikes. If they don't blow up the gun, that was evil. It was. Agent Mint saw it. He was he was going to do the old expert AI soft retreat with the crew out of the red smoke. But boom, first shell. Right on the money. Rough right on stuff. the money. Obersol Darton about to enter the arena for Asia Mint. Don't forget, guys, we're 25 minutes in, but this game's barely started. Both players have an excellent amount of victory points over the halfway point, and they've been so all over the place with their battle. Let's just show you one of my favorite graphs, points held. Look at that. That is ridiculous. That is neck and neck, quite frankly. Go either way still. But why does the UC still alive? you got to open a dream as UK. <laughs> I don't think we'll see the Sexton unless some serious BM comes in. I think uh, Nico's saving up for those big tier 4 tanks at the Brits. He will get one. He will get a tier 4 tank, no doubt. But uh, if, if he's doing really well, you can sometimes see a Sexton. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, if, he's, if, he's, if he's winning, though, he has to be BM winning. BM base out yeah. Or the, or, or the soft counter to the Schwer. Just If you eventually take down the Schwer, it's definitely worth it. It costs a hell of definitely. a lot to um, replace. Not saying we're going to see one. All I'm saying is I've seen strange, stranger things happen. Hey, Four yeah. veterancy folks are giving veterancy two to the Cromwell, who's now gotten his 14th and soon to be 15th and 16th kills. Oh, Volk's going there to be in with that. You <laughs> see, they wanted some damage on it, but nearly lose the uh, whole squad. Cromwell seems more potent this patch. Definitely is uh, far more utilized. Now with the slight changes to the mediums, but look at that, he doesn't even have a tank commander upgrade on the Cromwell and it's already Vettoon doing so well. Yikes. Nagano's getting hammer unlocked, which means he's paid for the, for the unlock and then he'll be 100% going for the Comet. Yeah, it's the it's, it's now the the heavy tank of choice it seems for the, uh, the big players amongst this 1v1 tournament. We haven't seen a Churchill yet or even a Crocodile. As as the awesome um, 1990s Japanese wrestling commentators used to say, Burning Hammer! <laughs> <laughs> well, for who? I, I can't think of it. Uh, that was uh, Kenta Kabashi. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, actually. It's that was his mega finisher. The wrestling, don't, don't the wrestlers in Japan, they wrestling just had knowledge. like one hour matches. Like, and that was the mega finisher. <laughs> I was banned from re watching wrestling, but that's all. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll turn out. That's like why you me. turned out the way you did, though, Ed. <laughs> if you'd watch wrestling, mate, you'd be sorted out. <laughs> anyway, Panzer IV versus the Cromwell Veterancy 2. Meanwhile, this now Veterancy 3, 16 kill, flak half track is controlling the flow of the battle. Yeah, but there's been a lot of resources going away of Asia, but he even has mega lot plane you of see. sector assault where anything could just happen. And, uh,. I think he's saving up for some big push. Needs a pamphlet though to round out yes. his composition. And then I think he's good to go. And especially if he can nip Nico in the heels. You know who said needs a panther? Gets... Oh, oh, nice for them against oh. the Cromwell by the Veterancy 2. Just about escaping. Maybe a Max Ranger nearly takes him out. A slither of pixels remain. That's alive? Uh, oh. Oh, somehow. It's held together with duct tape Ooh. and Prit stick, Ed. Mostly Gee. Prit stick. Don't Maybe a bit of paper mache. <laughs> Great for sniffing, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you turn up. But no, uh, Ozilligath, <laughs> literally, as soon as you said needs a panther, he said needs a panther in chat, so it was like a little bit of bro synergy there for the... Uh, yeah, there's a guy called needs a panther. <laughs> yeah, needs a panther said Ozilligath in chat. That's, ah, that's what happened. okay, okay. I thought there's a... Oh, nice. Yeah, see? Great minds think alike. I'd, I'd like to say. <laughs> but Vetu on the P4, that's it's getting sturdy up. Oh, look at these kills for the Universal Carrier, 20 in counting. He's carrying the Universe on his shoulders, but he's just hit by a big Raketenwerfer shot. Panzer Fall comes in. Oh. Sending Atlas home, but with the old uh, flak half nice. track now, Vet 3, extra damage. Nope, Battle Hardened crews are able to maneuver the vehicle with greater efficiency. I think that means it can stop the big quickly and get his gun firing. 
So in effect, more damage over time. God like Greek mythology reference, bro. I'm liking it. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a booby trap coming in from an Oversol Darton. That's a that's bit ballsy in the, in the face of <laughs> three infantry sections. Yeah, he thinks better of it, but saddest overs ever. They've only got one kill. But uh, they are halfway to... Well, oh, what a one. wombo! Yeah, get out of the overs. Cost so much. <laughs> okay, Asian Man is going King Tiger there. No way. Is he? Is he? Yeah, look at all oh. these resources. Please, Unless can we get a Terminator drum clap like dum 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 dum? <laughs> Slowly dum, gets dum, faster dum. and faster. <laughs> oh, coming back from its liquid state. Yeah, it, it's even. <laughs> oh, old, here it is! Sixty-eight and a half tons of quantified <laughs> destruction. The Koenigs Tiger, the Tiger Two, the Bengal Tiger, otherwise known as Imminence Map Control and Dominance for Asia Mint. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We need Hans need Zimmer to your Cromwells, <laughs> your Tommies, and your six pounders. And he could even go for the mega expensive pintle mounted MG and still have enough muni for sector, so good stuff from I'm, I'm the just gonna hit here. I'm just gonna hit follow unit on the King Tiger and we'll just let it cast the game itself, I guess. Yep. Yeah, I mean after they blap this squad, oh that's got to be a sickness for Nico, but he does have an AT gun and a Comet in the build with a cheeky Cromwell for flanks, so Asian Mint's going all in on the belief in the King Tiger. He is. Look at that plinky in the damage. It's already got one kill. Wow. wow. Sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry, double <laughs> AT gun. Uh, they're separated by some Royal Engineers on on the shield. Oh, I don't there. know why that is. They should be combined. It's not your fault, Ed. I think it's um the player is perhaps uh, control, control grouping, grouping them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Absolute mad lad not putting both your AT guns on the same control. Ooh, <laughs> the whole track's like in trouble as the Comet comes in from the sky above. And we've also oh, now got... Down goes my favourite unit, Flak <sighs> Archer. Out of control. But Sector Assault, here it comes. Can Comet's looking low. King Tiger pursues like a glacier. Cromwell finds him. That huge 88 mil big boy cannon taking him out. Where's the blitz? Panzer Falls going in. He he's finding it. the cro he's finding the comet. This could be GG. Rear armor hit. Oh, One more needed. Surely you can't be serious. He's yelling. But the KT and the, the Cadden. Oh my god, the King Tiger's been hit. From the Revere, the last shot hit, but Nagano has thrown in the towel. Game one goes to Asia Mint. Isolation has you feeling blue There's only one thing left to do The patch is out, let's play Co2 It's the Corona Cup Here we go. <laughs> We're back in the zone! Oh, what an ending there. The KT desperately low, the all-in unit from Asia. But oh. yeah, pleasing the fans of that one. Calling in a KT to beat Nagano or Nico. Wow. What a statement in game one. What do you think? Uh, how, how do you respond with Bad that? Badass. Asia uh, Mint's my new two. favorite player. I'm going to say it. <laughs> that that sportsmanship versus love nest earlier, the strats, the, the control. I haven't felt like this uh, excited about a player for a long time, I must say. He's a breath of fresh air, and that was awesome. And also be two tournament wins from two if he were to win today. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Ed, because he's up against Nagano, one of the finest players ever. So uh, it's only game one, but uh, we certainly got a really good player on our hands here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, some cheeky flak half track Vet5. Epawn put in the chat by uh, <laughs> Steindy. Like to see him, but uh, it, it reached Vet three. Enough, enough respect, enough respect. But um, just to just to show you, you don't always have to go Luke's into Puma, um, to beat the old Britbongs. And uh, excellent micro from Asian, but he was just all over that map the whole game, pushing every front in and the mid. And in the end, Nico, I just think was was burning out. He's running out of ideas, and uh. It's just the immovable object of the KT proved proved an inspired choice there from uh, Asia Mint. Well played. And uh, thanks for the exclamation mark casters there. If everybody can go to Ed's Twitch channel, this is a directive. It's an imperative. He's too oh, nice God. a guy to self-promote. Oh, he, he cringes internally. So just go to his Twitch channel and click 
How do you think follow. about the Jenga? <laughs> click, <laughs> click, follow. Shed, shut up. Click follow. So next time he streams oh. Battle Bros or something like Tetris or whatever it is he plays, you can watch him because he's a very entertaining streamer and he doesn't get Speed enough. Running uh... Tetris, 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> So go and uh, watch some Eddie Babes if you can. Uh, go and give him a follow so you're alerted next time he does. And uh, there you go. Um, other Cheers, big man. shout outs, of course. We're up to $400 on Patreon, which means we've got $810 for this next tournament we're going to have in June. If you want to be a Patreon, it means you're going to be able to vote on the name of the tournament, the type of tournament, the wildcard players, the maps. Tables, ladders, chairs, oh my, it's all there. So go over to the Patreon and make yourself uh, and pledge yourself uh, good. And all 100% of the money goes to the prize pool to make our scene as hype as it possibly can be um, for the passion we've got. Um, so go do it. Some re- we're all, I've also asked today if there's any more rewards people can think of other than these nine we've got here. You know, it's all open to um, maximum input it's not like a, a an ego project or anything like that it's all about collaboration ed's cringing out of his titties right here so let's go back to him <laughs> no, what are you no, munching on ed what are you having there mate what have you no, got i just finished the banana because uh, got, got caught a bit short before that last game but uh i i, I gotta say asia mint must be fully loaded with potassium because he's just the the amount of energy he's he's using in these games just seems so efficient i think Probably the best user of attack map I've seen on stream. And he just seems so chilled. And it's definitely uh, coming back to your earlier point, you know, when you see mm. a laid back, calm player. Nagano's pretty calm himself, but oh, he's got to be fuming after that loss. Cause he read the old OP Brits of this patch, supposedly, and got rickety wrecked by uh, OKW, who, other than Asia Mint, we haven't seen much OKW of this patch. No? So. 